What's up, everyone? This is Siege the Day with Day by Day Farms, day 10. Happy Wednesday. Let's get into it. So as we get started, I am once again joined by Rocco the Cat. Stir fry. We did know that already, so that's why it says it's a rerun. Let's see what's outside. <gasps> Marnie. Hi, how are you doing, Marnie? Yes, I do. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful cat. Oh, poor kitty. Obviously, I'm a softie. I have three cats in real life. Uh, yeah, we could probably use a cat. It would be kind of cool if the cat brought us things. Rocco in real life does bring us treats sometimes. Might have mentioned that in another episode. He's a good boy. He's a good boy and I love him. So we have a new quest every day to hunt down Rocco. Tell him that he's a good boy. I think we will go buy some cauliflower for this space, but we need to fertilize it first. And we're also going to chop down these trees that make it impossible to see where my crops are. And also just generally clear the land. So if you are new to the series, uh, my goal for Day by Day Farms is to have a day of Stardew Valley every day uh, in real life. Uh, so this Wednesday corresponds to the Wednesday that I am playing right now. And also I have a goal to eat something new every day. Or at least have some kind of meal, not necessarily a new food. But, you know, like real life, you'd want to eat every day. And we have a goal to do that in Stardew as well. I also have the goal to change my clothes more regularly than is typical in Stardew Valley. Um, I'd like to get to the point where I have enough outfits to change my outfit every single day. Um, but for now, while we have no access to sheep, wool, cloth, or anything like that, we are going to be trying to get hats and shoes um, from various places while we work towards getting a barn for the sheep so that we can produce wool and cloth. I am very excited about this series and I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you for starting your day with us or afternoon or evening. Um, so while we do this, I am going to save... Mm, yeah, let's save that parsnip for my dinner. Save some of this. We're gonna have to go to Gunther's. How much? Two sap each. Okay, and this is a 15 spot, so we need, unfortunately, to use some of our precious, precious sap. We have a mission from the community center to get 500 sap, which is a ton. We used used a third of what we had um, making fertilizer but it's going to be worth it because we also have a quest to get this must be 20 yeah it's 20 okay oops make five more I can totally math math is hard math is so in yeah anyway it's not like they're squares or anything and really easy to count all right, and let's just, while we're here, water everything. I will go ahead and sell these to Pierre. I don't think we'll get enough money from it to get the hat today, but we will try. We're gonna go get our cauliflower and plant them straight into the ground that's already been prepped and watered and lovingly prepared for them. And then we will go... No. We'll go to Pierre's, get the cauliflower seeds, go to Gunther's, so I don't forget to drop off this topaz. And then we will go plant the cauliflowers. And then we'll see where we are at for the day. Oh, help wanted. 
one of our other, ooh, we actually can deliver that. So we need to successfully, keyword successfully, um, complete, closed on Wednesdays. What did I even do this for then? Ugh, okay. So change of plans. I totally forgot Pierre was closed on Wednesdays because I play um, in games where he doesn't do that. Um, because after you finish the community center, he stays open all week long. But I, I forgot that, so we're gonna do that. Hopefully this ground doesn't all go to waste by tomorrow when we go get the seeds. Uh, is there anything? Yes, we need to get that quartz for Maru. Let's see if we can find her. That will be our second completed help wanted quest. For the gopher achievement, we need 10 of them. So we will have to work diligently to get all of those complete. We should also check the calendar. It's been a minute since we have checked and see when the next birthday is. Hopefully it's not today. It's today, obviously. Okay. Uh, what is Vincent like? What is Vincent like? Uh, give him a parsnip. <laughs> I don't know. I know he likes snails, but I don't have crab pots. I have no way to get him a snail for his birthday. Okay. So I guess the that beautiful juicy parsnip that we were saving for our dinner, it's going to Vincent. Because he's adorable and I want him to have a good life. I Oh, she is here. Okay. I thought she might actually be... Tues Tuesdays and Thursdays she works at the clinic. Okay. That's nice of her. Perfect. Continue working on the project. Done and delivered. Okay, perfect. We will go find Vincent. He's probably playing at home or in his backyard. He might, he might even be at school. Oh, so yes, I will go. I don't remember what their school schedule is. Go get my parsnip to give him. Hopefully he likes it. I feel like I should check that. Children don't normally like parsnips, but I'm pretty sure all vegetables are liked gifts. So I'm hoping that he... Okay, I might have to do a little bit of research while I'm doing this. Normally I don't do this, guys, but it's Vincent's birthday, and it kind of just snuck up on me. So we are going to do a little bit of research. We're also going to water our crops and grab our beautiful, beautiful parsnip. And hold on a second while I go find out whether or not Vincent will like this parsnip. One moment, please. So he does not like vegetables, which I should have been able to figure out, but he does like daffodils. So our parsnip is sna safe and it's a good thing I've been saving daffodils. So let's check for him a couple of places and see what we can see. All right, hopefully he's at home. No, hopefully he's at the library because I need to go to the library like now. But on my way there, I will take a little bit of the long way just to see if he's maybe... Which he's not. Okay, he's probably at the library. I don't have to worry. It's okay. Our, our mini quest of... Ah, and we have a bread for dinner. Excellent. Saved by the trash can. I think this is the third bread we've pulled out of a trash can. Which is pretty impressive. People just keep throwing bread away. Probably shouldn't be taking it from their trash cans. Uh, Vincent, birthday present. No, I don't want to eat the daffodil. Yes, so good. I'm so glad. Thanks, Vincent. I love you, goodbye. Happy birthday. I am so sorry. Okay, I should just not talk to her when she says she didn't get a good night's sleep. Donate to the museum. Let's put this over there. Finally, an artifact that's worthy of the museum. <laughs> we had rusty spur, broken glass, something else. 
I don't remember what it was. I was literally just in there and I can't remember. Let's see if we can find anything else that's useful on the beach here. And while we do that, we listen to the calming sound of the ocean. I do need to chop more trees down. Maybe... <laughs> we say, maybe I should go and do that and then I find more interesting things to do. Ah! But we found a lost book, so that's cool. Alright. We do also need to go find Rocco on the farm. But he will come in to bed when it's bedtime, so... That will be the easiest way to find him. Maybe it'll be a Where's Waldo, except Where's Rocco in the morning when we do our uh, screenshot for the day. That'll be really funny. If anyone wants to play Where's Rocco in the big screenshot, please let me know in the comments. I think it would be hilarious and you can send me screenshots of my screenshots of where Rocco is. If not, I might on the off days do compilations of where's Rocco. Because I think it would be hilarious. We do need to water him. Oh, he's already watered. Perfect. Uh, and since there was that tree I needed to chop down anyway. Oh, I already got it. Never mind. That's what I did this morning. As we're chopping down trees, we're thinking of bees. It's one of my favorite things that, um, can't remember if it's Wilbur or Orville now. Probably Wilbur. When you travel on Dodo Airlines in Animal Crossing New Horizons, uh, he says, let's, um, I don't even know what he says anymore. Something about bees and trees. I'm gonna have to remember. That's terrible. It's one of my favorite sayings. If you remember, please, please write it in the comments below so that I feel justified in someone knowing what I'm talking about. That would be really cool. I think we're going to save this seed because I don't have a good spot for it. Okay. So dandelion will go there. We can save all of that. Save that. We'll ship both of these. And we already ate the bread. Okay. Like breads of yore, I have already forgotten what I have eaten. Okay. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Oh, we almost have enough wood. Let's see if we can get 50 plus wood out of this tree to go complete that bridge. That would be awesome. Okay. Uh, we did not. All right. It is now going to be a speed shop competition where we see which runs out first, my energy or this tree. Haha, I win again. Oh, starting to feel exhausted. Nope, that's okay. Okay, and the winner is not me. Okay. Let's see, we need maple seeds. So, let's find out which one of these trees is a maple tree. Okay, that one. Oh, grab our sword again. Okay, it does not want to give me seeds. Okay, neither does that one. Maybe we'll go swing our... or shake shake some wild trees in the forest. Because if we can get a wild snack... Or, if even we could find something foragable in our foragey area, which it doesn't look like we will. Okay. But Grandpa's shrine is still intact. Nothing meteor-like has come to attack it, which is good. We're leaving all of this grass for now, even though there's a lot of it, because we can walk through it. And we will need it eventually for when we get animals. I do have rough plans for where I'd like the coop in the barn to be. But like I said, I don't know if... I have planned too much farming space, so I'm going to have to go look at my plan 
a little bit later as we're planning out uh, when, when we get enough resources to do the goop in the barn. Ooh, that would be a good activity. There are probably spring onions at the bottom of this map here. We could forage those and then eat one because <laughs> we need to. Shove an onion straight in our mouth if there are any. There are onions. Awesome. Let's get the best onion available. Oh, not yet. Okay. Yep. Best onion available. Not great on energy, but like... Uh, maybe we'll just chop little tree stuff. Yeah, I think if we chop some, like, random, we just need 16. Depends on if it costs one or two energy to chop. Probably two. That will probably not be enough. We will eat one more spring onion and test it. So we've got 44 energy now. We make one chop. We have 42 energy. Excellent. So as long as I am good at not misclicking anything, we should be able to get the 16 wood we need so that we can go complete that bridge. And that would be a good thing to do today. Okay. Since all of our other plans fell through because I am a giant spoon. But, you know, if I weren't a giant spoon, this probably would not be as entertaining. <laughs> and I am thoroughly entertained by watching back the videos, usually. So hopefully you guys are too, because I am having a great time. Uh, and those are some weeds. And that's more weeds. 14, 15, 16. Is that enough? I think it's enough. I think I can math. I think I think I could I think I can hope to math. It's probably the best I can do. This think to hope to math. I know there are so many people who play Stardew Valley with the intention of doing everything very precise and mathematic and that's just not who I am. Well, I didn't math, but the not mathing was in my favor. So that's okay. <laughs> so we will go deliver that wood tomorrow. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Hopefully, I don't I don't know that we saved up and and spent Hi, Rocco. Okay, let's look at what the weather's like for tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day. Okay, where are my rainy or windy days? So let's see. Oh, foraging again. Tappers. That'll be really helpful. Oh, we did with our farming and everything. How much do these each go for? Okay, 35 each, but when you stack them all up, that's really good. Okay, so we will have enough money for hopefully seeds and a hat tomorrow. That'll be really good. And I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Which is like Phineas and Ferb's, hey guys, I know what we're going to do today, but it's tomorrow. So, so sorry. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Wednesday on the farm. Uh, I am Siege the Day and it has been my pleasure. See you tomorrow. Bye guys.